welcome back to part two of our bird painting. This is called a pa painting button bird. And wow, must I say, it truly looks like a color wheel of bird feathers. I am immensely enjoying this painting and I hope you have too. I am at the point where I am continually blocking in colors for the feathers. I have switched over to the smaller detail brush, a number zero, using a lot of yellow in each of my colors. So as you see on my beautiful messy plate, I am mixing yellow with the green and I'm getting different shades of the green. And as you look at your photo reference, you too need to make sure that you have enough yellow and a little bit of the color that you're using to make a lighter shade of that color. For example, you see here, I used yellow, but I barely put yellow green with that color and it lighten up that feather areas. I'm using pretty much curved lines each time that I'm painting in the feathers, but do make sure that you create the feathers in that curved line and not straight line. Look at the direction on your photo reference. Make sure you've printed it out or looking at it on another device. Uh, print out it so that you can really look at the direction of each feather layer. And as you notice, I'm adding purple to the shadows. That purple is to separate the feather layers. So you have the bird has a beautiful yellow green feather on the top and then underneath it has red orange feathers and I even added more colors to my painted bird just because I didn't want it to look exactly like the photo reference but very close. Remember to make your art your own. Don't be afraid to add in details that might not be there that you feel that should be there. Painting is painting what you know and painting what you would like to imagine as well. So now you will see as I paint on how I am taking a variety of colors that are on your, in, on your description box where you from part one have those yellows, your um, your violet, or you can use a magenta. I've switched up my palette from part one to add a bolder colors, but you can make these colors even from the list of colors in your description box. So right there in that orange area, first we had blocked that color in from part one, and you're gonna see it transform. You're gonna see me like add lighter values, white mixed with the orange like right in this area. And then you're gonna see me add pink and yellow together to make a even more vibrant orange. I play around with my palette a lot. And that leads me to say that um, I will be doing a lesson on how to use the color wheel with painting so that you can understand how colors are mixed together. So this was our nice, fun, free demo, um, free expression kind of demo with adding colors in so that you can get an ideal and a feel of the brush, an ideal and a feel of paint on the canvas. And from this point on, we are going to be creating even more art using the color wheel. I do love this bird because it introduces us already to the color wheel. Starting with those primary colors of yellow and red, 
and blue and mixing those colors to make our secondary. So now, as you see, I'm still continuing using my small detail brush. I'm pushing the shadows, that in between space of the layers of the bird. Now, if you don't understand that, look at your reference right now. Look how the top layer is yellow green. Bottom layer on the net has yellow green, but a little more reds in it. And speaking of reds, now I'm grabbing my red and putting a little drop on my palette so that I can start introducing that red into that pink, introducing the red into that purple to really push those shadows back and pull the feathers up front. So bright colors on top, dark colors on the bottom of it. So let's continue in our painting and please do share your painting at the end uh, when you're done and take your time just because you're watching the video tutorial doesn't mean that you should be keeping up exactly with the speed that I'm painting but just looking at how I am using the shapes to create lines and patterns and so forth remember to enjoy the process breathe through it and just play with those colors on your paint palette
dog stay inside or mostly out? Our dog Jack Jack is an outdoor dog.
questions about that. Oh.